This is the official Kali Linux running on Apple Silicon Mac. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download Kali and install it on M1, M2 or M3 Macs using UTM in under 5 minutes. This is a complete step-by-step -step guide to installing Kali Linux on Apple Silicon Macs. So make sure to watch this video till the end without missing any parts. But without further ado, let's get started. For demonstrating this video, I used a MacBook Air with an M1 chip. To install Kali on Apple Silicon Mac, you must reserve at least 40 GB or more of free space. With that being said, it's time to download UTM. Now go to this link using the web browser, which will take you to this page. UTM is a QEMU based emulator that allows to running a virtual machines on Apple Silicon Macs. This way, you can run Kali Linux on top of Mac OS in an isolated environment without the need to modify any data or partitions of Mac OS. Go ahead and click on this download button to download the UTM DMG file. While it's downloading in the background, click on the gallery and you will see a list of pre customized images of operating systems optimized for Apple Silicon Macs. I'll look for a Kali ARM64 and click on it. Now this is the summary of this image. We can see it supports GPU acceleration out of the box and the default username and password are both Kali. Anyway, click on this button to download the Kali zip file. Keep in mind the download speeds will be slow, so please be patient until it completes. Once it's done, place both files on the desktop for easier navigation. You will see the Kali image file, which is around 4.8 gigs in size. Now double click on the UTM file and drag and drop the icon into the applications folder. Now once it's done, open the UTM application. Now go back to the folder and extract the Kali Linux zip file. Now this is the new file you will see after extraction that ends with the .utm extension. Now double click on this file to open it inside UTM. On the right pane, you can see the information about the Kali virtual machine. Now click on the settings icon and from the sidebar click on the system. If you have more CPU cores on your Mac you can type the value or leave it at the default. And the same thing goes with the RAM. So the more RAM and CPU cores you allocate the faster the virtual machine will run. Then click on the play button to start running the virtual machine. Keep in mind, when you tap inside a VM, the cursor will be bound to the guest OS. To release it, press Ctrl plus Option to regain control of the cursor within the host OS. Now you can see the Kali Linux login page. The default username and password are both Kali. Just type the word in lowercase and press Enter. Boom, we're inside the Kali Linux. This method doesn't require installation, everything is pre-customized. Now open the terminal and type this command to update the password for the default user Kali. Type the password as Kali in lowercase and for security reasons in Linux you won't see a password while typing. Then set a new password. Now if you run this command it will show you the Kali Linux version information. If you notice it's running an older version, let's go ahead and update to the latest available version. To do so, first run this command to update the source list. Then run this command to install the latest packages. Now 
Now when you see this screen to configure the console setup, choose Latin 1 and 5 that add support for European and Western languages. Once it's done, type this command to reboot the virtual machine. Log in with your new password. Now you can see we are running the latest version. Now speaking about performance, virtual machines on Apple Silicon Macs are way faster. It provides a bare metal experience. Thanks to the UTM for optimizing the pre-configured images and taking advantage of hardware virtualization to provide a faster experience. You can almost see everything works. Simultaneously, you can use Mac OS alongside Kali running inside UTM without any issues. Now, both are different from each other. Now, don't worry, Kali Linux does not delete any data or harm your Mac OS. And as a bonus part of this video, I would like to share some helpful tips with you. When running Kali on Apple Silicon Mac, it's running from internal storage and the size increases dynamically based on what you write the data in Kali. Now, this can be painful if you have a limited storage capacity on your Mac. However, there is a solution for that. If you have an external SSD, you can move this image and run it directly from the external SSD. And lastly, if you want to delete the Kali Linux virtual machine, open UTM, go to the main user interface, choose Kali from a sidebar, right click and delete it. Also delete this image file to save more space. And that's pretty much it. This is how you can easily install Kali on any Apple Silicon Mac using UTM in a few minutes. Let me know what do you think about it in the comments section down below. Thanks for watching. This has been KSKRIL. I will see you in the next one.